Hello, everybody, and uh, Happy New Year 2022. It is here. Uh, hopefully, everybody's uh, enjoying their day, the New Year day, and hopefully, everybody's not hungover. If you were partying hard last night, hopefully, you're doing all right. You know, I'm doing great because I'm with my good friend, Jason Prentice. And uh, this is like a special a little little thing that we're doing. You, you you hit me up and you're like, hey, man, I got some news. And I was like, well, I want to know. And then you made me wait for like two months. So <laughs> screw you. No, not really. Uh, but you did make me wait for a little while with much anticipation. And guess what? Today is January 1st, 2022. The date you've been teasing. Uh, my friend, happy new year, first of all. And uh what is going on? Well, happy new year. Uh, yeah, we talked uh, on the show here a few months back, and I was talking to you. Hey, I said, hey, if you want a scoop, I know you like ice cream. I love ice cream. <laughs> I, I so much love my uh, vanilla, but I said, hey, if you want a scoop, I got one for you as of the first of the uh, new year. And I, uh, I get to announce uh, something that I've been working on for quite some time now. Uh, in October, I got to take part in a tribute show for my uncle apprentice which that was one of the toughest shows i ever had to help produce and help uh, promote and um, you know my uncle always wanted me to get in on the promoting side and he would always tease me about it and he would always kind of give me grief because he he saw potential in me and i think a lot of people saw that and um you know this process that we went through in october really showed me what I was capable of doing with the right team, the right people behind me and the right people motivating me um, just, you know, from family to friends, you know, the whole nine yards. And so uh, I got on the horn with the, with people I trust the most with the situation and with guys that I consider to be, you know, two guys who are just as passionate and eager to do these things that we're going to do in 2022. And so with that said, uh, we decided that we would create a, a new wrestling promotion in the uh, state of Iowa and in the state of Tennessee. And that's why we're talking now about absolute pro wrestling. Got to go. We got merch already. We already have merch. We got a new promotion. But uh, absolute pro wrestling, we're debuting in May, uh, May 14th, 2022 Ooh. in Waterloo, Iowa. At the, right. at the uh, Pavilion Center. Was able to go down this morning to uh, sign the papers and make it all official and uh, really excited about it. They have a great group of individuals uh, within the uh, National Cattle Congress uh, who helped make this deal come together. And uh, we're really excited to work with those guys and gals and to present wrestling in Waterloo uh, on uh, May the 14th. Look at that. May 14th, everybody. Absolute pro wrestling. APW is a thing. And okay, so we have a date uh, May 14th. That's happening, you said, in Waterloo, Iowa, which we all know well uh, from the George Tragu's Luthes Hall of Fame weekend that goes on every July down there. And what a weekend that is. And now to have this kickoff show uh, down in Waterloo, which is actually the city you and I met and became buddies, uh, yes. which is awesome. So, like, how, how special is that to you that you're, you're kicking this off in Waterloo? Well, you know, it, with Waterloo, you know, we hear every year when we do these Hall of Fame shows down uh, in Waterloo for RPW, we'd hear fans say, hey, it'd be really cool to get like more shows down here. And the Hall of Fame weekend is so special, like you said. And we've experienced one after another after another. And uh, Troy Peterson and all those guys and gals that are involved with Impact Pro Wrestling, they put on a hell of a show. And he's been mm -hmm. super, super awesome through this process with working with me and my partners in this as well and giving really good advice to me. And uh, I look forward to learning more from him as well. I think he's obviously a guy who's been around the block and he knows a thing or two about the wrestling business. And, you know, he's somebody that I absolutely respect. And a lot of people should respect uh, for the, the things he's been able to create and produce in Waterloo, especially. And uh, obviously in the state of Iowa and with the, with the Des Moines shows, the fair shows they're able to produce, you know, the relationship that I hope to have with Troy Peterson is, uh, you know, it's super special. And I think it's going to be a big process and a big part of what we do with APW and Waterloo. But for me, just looking at Waterloo, fans were craving more wrestling down there, um, more than just, you know, that Hall of Fame weekend. And, you know, the, the, people, the people that are involved, we've talked about it. Um, Brandon Eubanks is a partner in this with me. Uh, people may know him as the Shank or Brandon Eubanks as well. Um, mm -hmm. You know, Shank has been super awesome in this process, and he's been somebody who's like, you know, 
Waterloo is an area that doesn't get touched a lot outside of just this one weekend. So maybe we go there. Maybe we, you know, try to produce more wrestling action down there. And, uh, you know, we just, we talked, we had conversations with other individuals and we decided, you know what, this is a good, a good chance for us to hopefully, you know, give back to fans that have been, that have been craving more wrestling action. And we'll see what happens on uh, May the 14th. And we're really excited about it again at that pavilion center in uh, Waterloo uh, on the grounds of the National Cattle Congress. You know, we'll, we'll talk about ticket information over the next uh, month and a half. But uh, again, Waterloo, just a special place, like you said, for wrestling in general, you know. And uh, I, I'm sure uh, fans, they know how big of a deal it is uh, to have professional wrestling in that area. Hell yeah, man. Uh, that's great. And so you already said the Shank is part of this. So I assume we'll see him in ring at some point there too, right? Yeah, uh, more than likely, uh, more than likely, yeah. Brandon Eubanks is part of it. Uh, Grant Hatton, uh, otherwise okay. known as uh, Bam Bam Bundy. Uh, Bam's been able to come up to Iowa to work for Ready Pro Wrestling. And Bam's a guy who uh, was a soldier. I, I say it like that. He was a he was a soldier for my Uncle Bert Prentice. And he's a guy who's a, he always, he would put heads with my uncle and they had their ups and downs and ups and downs. But at the end of the day, you know, Grant was there for my family when we went through everything this last year. And, uh, Grant's a guy who has been wanting to produce wrestling shows around Tennessee as well. And uh, we're really excited for what we're going to be able to do because with Iowa and Tennessee, you know, there's, there's two different styles when you say that and you look at the wrestling matches that are done in Iowa and the wrestling matches down in Tennessee. And when you can mesh those styles, you know, Danny Dollar took on Matty Starr at my uncle's tribute show and it was a clash of styles and it was awesome that what they were able to produce on that show. And if people haven't seen it, here's a cheap plug, check out the Prentice wrestling network the Bird Press Memorial, you can check it out. They had a fantastic matchup, and I'm super proud of what that was able, you know, what that match was able to produce because now we have that opportunity with this promotion to mesh styles, to, you know, bring guys and gals from Iowa down to Tennessee and vice versa, bring the other talents from Tennessee up to Iowa and all over the Midwest. You know, that's the goal is to eventually, you know, have these talents from the Midwest in general go down to Tennessee, get opportunities that they may not have been getting before or you know just to set up you know networks that weren't there before uh with this promotion and uh, another thing about this uh this networking deal uh with with bundy uh, we do actually have a show as well I, this, this is something that we were uh, talking about off camera that uh, we were i was like you know i wonder if i can get this information before we we go on the air and sure as sure as hell uh bundy said hey by the way you can say june 4th in uh, ripley missouri we have a show that we're going to start kind of releasing details over the uh, next month as well here uh, as uh, the weeks come along, but Ripley, Missouri, June 4th, and then Waterloo, Iowa on May 14th. Again, things, they're coming together, and uh, I'm really excited for what the future holds for 2022, for wrestling in Iowa, for wrestling, you know, in, in the South. Like, there's so many things we're looking to do with so many talents, and again, it's, it's about creating opportunities, and I think we can do that this year. Hell yeah, man. APW Absolute Pro Wrestling is coming 2020, 2020, 2020, 20, 2022 is going to be <laughs> one hell of a year, man. Uh, congratulations. Uh, again, I'm, I'm ecstatic for you. I'm, I'm excited. I can't wait. I will be there May 14th. I do have a scoop, too. I do have oh, one more scoop ooh, for you. Ooh. Now, every show, you got to have a main event to attract people. Say, hey, this is why you should check out our first show. Yeah. And I'm very, very happy to announce uh, today that our first main event, now we're not going to have a title match yet. We we want to see the talents that are out there, see who we believe is in the running to be our first heavyweight champion. But for now, I can tell you that the first matchup, the first main event matchup for APW, we're going to see that dirty dog, that dirt dog, Jimmy Wild, take on the MVP of wrestling in the Midwest, that's Maddie Starr. Maddie Starr versus Jimmy Wilde is the first main event for APW. We're really excited about this matchup, and we've seen these guys go out before. But you know, Jimmy's—he's a different Jimmy, and he's performed at a different level over the last, I'd say, basically over the last year. And uh, he's really improved physically, mentally, emotionally. He's a guy that I, I'm really excited to see what he's able to do now against. Maddie Star, where they're both at in their careers. So that's our first main event. Really proud of these guys and really happy to see uh, what they're able to do in that ring.
Heck yeah, man. That's amazing. Main event, Matty Star, Jimmy Wild. Oh, that is going to be some really good stuff. Again, I cannot wait. For May 14th, I will be there. Waterloo, Iowa. You should be there. Everyone should be there. APW, Absolute Pro Wrestling. It's coming 2022.